Penguins live in some of the coldest environments in the world. In Antarctica, temperatures of minus 60 degrees C are quite common, and it can get even colder than this. The emperor penguins spend the entire of the Arctic winter standing in ice in these extremely cold conditions. But thanks to three very important adaptations, their feet are kept just one or two degrees above freezing. The first adaptation is something that is quite common in many animals, including humans. In cold temperatures, the blood vessels which go to the extremities, such as the feet or hands, contract, which reduces the blood flow. This minimises the amount of blood which goes to the feet or hands, or flippers, to just enough to keep the cells alive, but prevents unnecessary heat loss. And this is why in winter, your hands will look very pale. The second adaptation is a little more unique, although it is shared by many other birds. At the top of the penguin's legs are a complex structure of arteries and veins, which form a countercurrent heat exchange. Warmth from the outgoing arteries heats up the blood from the incoming veins, and the incoming veins cool down the blood in the outgoing arteries. This helps the penguin conserve heat in the body, rather than losing it to the outside air through their feet. This helps to maintain a constantly low, but not freezing, temperature in the penguin's feet. The third adaptation is rather specialised, and it's only something organisms in extreme environments have, and it's all down to the chemistry of the penguins. When oxygen binds to haemoglobin, it gives out heat, which is called exothermic, and when it unbinds from haemoglobin, it requires heat, which is called endothermic. The difference in energy given out from binding compared to the energy required is called delta H. Now various things affect delta H, such as pH, temperature, and the presence of other chemicals. And this can mean that the overall heat loss is very small or very large. Penguins have a very small delta H compared to humans because of their biochemistry which means that very little heat is lost through the unbinding and binding of oxygen. Furthermore, the unbinding or heat requiring reaction is inhibited by very cold temperatures. So in cold places such as the feet, the unbinding reaction will not occur very often at all. This means that very little heat is lost from their feet. Some species such as tuna fish have taken this adaptation to the extreme and are able to get an overall net gain in heat resulting in their body temperatures being 17 degrees C above their surroundings. So despite terribly cold conditions, through these three important adaptations, penguins can carefully control the temperature of their feet to about 1 or 2 degrees C, which prevents their feet from freezing. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a comment, thumbs up and subscribe, and don't forget to check out some more videos on this channel.